Can hydrogen save your life? Or the life of a loved one who's having a hard time? The answer is yes. Of course, it's not just hydrogen alone, but in the future, hydrogen will find its way into the ICU, emergency departments, the ambulances. Because at the more severe one's illness, and the closer to death's door, the more hydrogen will work. I've been into hydrogen inhalation for about a year, and about nine months personally. And in this past year, I've had exposure to several cases of people near death's door who have been yanked back. Even before hydrogen, on my, what I used to call my natural allopathic protocol, I also got letters to the years of people who had been given days or weeks to live by doctors, mostly oncologists. And uh, they wrote me incredible reports about how they came back to life, applying the basics, the basic medicines that treat the foundation of our illnesses. Hydrogen, especially mixed with, with, with oxygen and increased CO2, is life-saving. It's life-saving. Under the most severe circumstances in life, 2,000 feet below sea level, you can survive down there breathing 96% hydrogen. You can't breathe a lot of oxygen down there. And even in the emergency rooms or mostly intensive care, too much oxygen is, happens to be dangerous. That's why it needs to be balanced with CO2, and hydrogen is incredible in terms of how it pairs up with oxygen. And we know that because it paired up to create this planet of water, H2O. So it'll be probably, it's very sad in the United States and in Europe too, it'll probably be years before they put hydrogen machines in their ICU departments. Probably professional sports teams, contact sports, will put them on the sidelines in case of concussion. Good to start treating right away. But my recommendation for hydrogen in, in the worst situations when you're treating at home is you hook a person up to a machine and until you see an improvement, you don't take them off. Hydrogen is this type of medicine. Oxygen, we don't think of it as a medicine. We don't even think of it as a food, which it is. It's a nutrient. In a hospital, it's a drug. Well, hydrogen also will go right along with it. And I do recommend the kind of inhalers, hydrogen inhalers, that put combine hydrogen with oxygen. Makes sense.